how to quickly change dynamics and automate dynamic settings for drum sounds when you're using electronic drum gear like the SX Pro for example or different pads you're sending MIDI notes into Ableton Live and then those sounds are not quite reacting how you would like to. I will show you this in this video and how to make use of my devices which I made for this. Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonDrummer.com. I do all sorts of tutorials and consultation and custom solutions on um, not only on drumming and Ableton Live but about uh, a lot about live performance in Ableton Live. <laughs> okay, so in this video I want to show you how you quickly can change dynamics and sometimes and especially in the drum world um, you sometimes don't feel like your pad is giving you the right velocity translation for sounds here. So obviously, depending on the gear you're using, you can always change stuff internally on those uh, things as well. But to be honest, um, they all use a different system. They are... Um, most like in most cases you will change like if you change a velocity um, curve on one pad you will change this for the whole um for the whole hardware thing here and you might just want to change this for one sound setting a different threshold um, things are getting um, louder um, more quicker and, and stuff like that and you can just quickly set this all up and visually make this much more nicer in Ableton Live. So let me show you, for example, my velocity curve here. So depending, yeah, I have this monitor here and depending on this curve, I could set up um, this snare drum sound to get um, um, louder later. So I'm now playing, if I turn on the monitor now, So only when I'm hitting really hard and I can see the velocity values here. So, <coughs> so I'm playing, giving a value in of 86, but it's putting out a value of 50, uh, 52 here. So actually I need to hit harder to get this louder. Yeah, okay, so I could reset this. I could add more points here as well if needed. I need to make sure that this um, is set um, off when I want to play. Um, that's why it's blinking. I could get quite detailed here. Usually that's not like, um, you don't need to go as detailed as like this. I just really like. So that's like too quick, too loud for me. So I just change it like here. If you change something, you quickly, uh, quickly you switch off the monitor, switch it on again. could even go a bit less like a bit lower up here as well so now i've done this for all midi coming in on this track and i don't want to apply this to all drum sounds here i just want this to apply to the snare sound so i now go to the snare um, drum slot here in the drum rack and i can just drag and drop this velocity curve editor here just to be applied to this snare sound here. So if I want to have something different on the kick, I can um, drag and drop the Max for Life Velocity Curve Editor on here. So maybe let's do a threshold thingy on the kick. So I have this simple threshold device. I just drag and drop this on the kick. You can do this from your Ableton Live browser as well and just drag and drop this in there and then you can play around with it. So for example, I have a threshold setting here. So um, let's switch on the monitor. So this is just for making sure like maybe if I'm hitting really low um, on there, I don't want sounds to come through. So this could be really handy if you're using external triggers which I have here, but I haven't set it up. But just to give you an idea, so sometimes triggers are picking up um, too much than they should. And obviously you should be able to set stuff right 
on your equipment here as well. But maybe you are using a, a, a trigger for one sound where you want it to pick up quite quick and maybe uh, on a different tune you don't want it um, to pick up that quick. So for this you could just have this threshold um, Maxwell Live device put in here. So let's say the kick should only play if I'm hitting with a threshold over um, 50 maybe. Let's do this um, with the arrow. I can go in, I could type in here as well. Uh, I could go in with the mouse and drag click up and down, but then sometimes I don't get to the right value I want to, so I used my keyboard here now. So now, if I'm playing with a velocity under 50 here, no notes are getting through. As soon as I'm over 50, only then the MIDI will be passed through and the sound will be triggered here. So this again could become handy because if you're using quite a lot of different Ableton drum racks here or different sounds here, you might want to have one setting on your um, electronic drum controller, on your electronic drum pad or whatever, on your uh, MIDI trigger to MIDI input um, device, just have like one setting, set the ranges quite high, but you are able to apply like certain ranges of velocity, certain ranges of threshold uh, MIDI being passed through or not inside and only for particular sounds here. So this could become really handy, especially if you're changing sounds quite a lot. So those are Max for Life devices, which are available as inside a whole pack of uh, different devices for making use of electronic drum triggering with Ableton Live. Um, this pack is a Max for Life pack. So Max for Life is included in Ableton Live Suite or can be bought as an add-on towards Ableton Live Standard. If you don't own Ableton Live Suite yet, you can always buy my devices and get Ableton Live Suite for free. So you need to buy my devices and you will need Ableton Live Suite and you can get the free trial for three months, uh, which is fully functional for three months, I mean. And then this way you can check it out if that's something for you at all. Okay, so um, keep drumming, um, enjoy making music. Cheers, bye-bye.